everyone welcome back to GK today i am mujhe sana and in this video we'll cover the current affairs before we move ahead let me inform you that these questions are part of our daily 20 mcq series 2022 in the gk today's android application so if you are looking for the text version of these questions and their explanations along with the interactive quiz you may consider joining our daily 20 mcq series in the gk today android application in this course in app you get daily 20 mcqs a fortnightly quiz a monthly revision document and also category wise revision ebooks that are optimized for reading on mobile you are also able to access all archives of questions from january 2020 onwards and let me tell you one more thing if you want the hindi version of this session you can refer to our former channel named as gk today the link has been given in the description box from where you can reach to so without taking much of your time let's get started good morning everyone welcome back to gk today and today we will be discussing most important mcqs for 22nd of april 2022 let's start al aqsa mosque sometimes seen in the news is located in which city so in a recent violence that was occurred during the jewish festival of passover which coincided with the muslims observing ramzan over 17 palestinians get wounded and this incident occurred at jerusalem's al aqsa mosque compound and earlier at least 152 palestinians were injured during the clashes with israeli riot police and the clashes follow high tensions over the weeks between the palestinians and israelis okay so all this happened after the attacks in israel and deaths of palestinian civilians during the raid in the west bank okay so al aqsa mosque lies in jerusalem okay now let's see some of the important questions regarding ukraine which technology company has launched air raid alert system on android phones in ukraine this is google i'm talking about google recently the competition commission of india has ordered an investigation agency because google was accused of using its dominant position okay and also it was recently sued because it was accused of illegally invading the privacy of millions of users in usa by tracing their internet use fine now which institution adopted the resolution titled as aggression against ukraine so this was adopted by united nations general assembly ukraine shares border with how many european union member states here the keyword is very important european union fine so actually ukraine shares the border with four eu member states which are these hungary poland slovakia from west and romania romania from south okay and also ukraine shares border with russia from east and northeast then another country is belarus from north and next is moldova from south okay so these are the countries which shares border with ukraine what is the name of the initiative launched by india to bring back the indians stranded in ukraine so because some of the indians were stranded in ukraine so government of india has launched an operation called operation ganga to save them which country passed a resolution to show support to the ukraine condemning russian military aggression so usa has showed its support to the country ukraine and it has criticized russian military aggression which country annexed the crimean peninsula from ukraine answer is russia when in the year 2014 which is the must connects the crimean peninsula to ukraine this is a static gk question and correct answer is isthmus of perekop okay next question who is the first officer from the corps of engineers to become the chief of army staff of india so lieutenant general manoj pandey appointed the new chief of army staff and he will succeed general m m narwani okay so the vice chief of army staff lieutenant general pandey is the first officer from the corps of engineers to become the chief of army staff and he has commanded the operation parakram in the palanwala sector of jammu and kashmir along the line of control 
and also he has been conferred with the award of param vishisht seva medal then vishisht seva medal chief of army staff commendation and ati vishisht seva medal etc fine now let's see some of the important and recent appointments which cricketer has been appointed as the brand ambassador of karnataka brain health initiative answer is robin uthappa okay who has been appointed as the new upsc chairman so mr manoj soni has been appointed as new chairman of upsc who was appointed as tata steels additional director and vice chairman this is noel naval tata who has been appointed as the new foreign secretary of india so now our new foreign secretary is mr vinay mohan quatra fine dinesh thapar was recently appointed as chief financial officer of which organization so he is now the chief financial officer of bajaj auto who was reappointed as md and ceo of tata coffee for 3 years so already mr cheko purakal was the md and ceo of tata coffee and recently his tenure has been extended for 3 more years who was appointed as vehdam india's chief hro this is mr kalpesh tiwari fine next question which is the first state in india to get the l root server to provide the digital services with seamless internet connectivity so rajasthan has become the first state in the country to get the l root server which will basically enable the state government to provide its digital services and implement the e governance with seamless internet connectivity so this new facility will strengthen the internet infrastructure as well as it will also help to improve security of internet based operations okay so correct answer would be rajasthan now let's see some of the important current affairs which indian public sector bank launched its digital transformation project called sambhav so this is the project of union bank of india which institution launched the digital platform called faster and the faster term stands for fast and secured transmission of electronic records answer is supreme court of india which firm was the first to provide digital payment to people who do not have access to the internet this was bharat petroleum corporation limited which digital payments and financial services firm acquired the gig india which is a pune based network for independent micro entrepreneurs correct answer is phone pay in which city is india's first digital water bank aquarium launched here we are talking about city so answer would be bangalore and if only state would have been asked then answer would be karnataka what is the india's position in the deal room co investment statistics for the global venture capital investment center for digital commerce startups according to the london and partners analysis so in this ranking india was at second place which country was at the top usa then second was obviously india third was china and fourth was uk and if we talk within india then at the first place it was bangalore then second was gurugram and third was mumbai okay which bank presently partnered with the airtel to boost india's digital environment by 2022 this is axis bank okay next question state of the economy is the flagship report of which institution so the reserve bank of india in its flagship state of the economy report said that the surge in commodity prices is posing inflation risk amidst the surging import so though the strength in of underlying fundamentals and the stock of international reserves provide the buffer but still it is rapidly widening the trade and current account deficit that is coexisting with portfolio capital outflows and hence these are at risk to the external sustainability fine so you do not need to cover so much depth of this report only thing you have to remember is this is the report of reserve bank of india fine now let's see some of the important reports which institution released the 
Financing for Sustainable Development Report. This is United Nations DESA means Department of Economic and Social Affairs. And in this report, it has predicted India's GDP growth at 6.5%, while earlier they have set this value to be 8.4%. Next is, as per the recent Oxfam report, Dash are living below the poverty line, while a new person becomes a billionaire every Dash since the beginning of the pandemic. So as per this report, 3.3 billion people are living below the poverty line and a new person becomes a billionaire every 26 hours since the beginning of this pandemic. Which institution released the expanding heat resilience report? It has been released by Natural Resources Defense. Okay, And in this report, they have talked about how global warming is damaging our earth and also they have focused on a fact that extreme temperatures were recorded in Kerala and Himachal Pradesh recently when there were no history of heat waves earlier here. Okay. As per a recent report, which country has the lowest rate of insurance penetration across Asia? This is India. Which country saw a rise in illegal online trade of wildlife as per a recent report by the World Wildlife Fund? This country is Myanmar. Which Indian city has been ranked second most noise polluted city globally as per the United Nations Environment Program Annual Frontier Report 2022? So the second most noise polluted city in whole world is Muradabad from the state Uttar Pradesh. And which is the first city in this term? Answer is Dhaka from the country Bangladesh. Okay. Headquarters of UNEP lies in Nairobi in Kenya. Next question, which city is the host of Smart Cities Smart Urbanization Conference? So the Smart Cities Smart Urbanization Conference is organized by the Union Ministry of Housing Affairs and Urban Affairs in association with Surat Smart City Corporation Development Limited at Surat. Actually in the India Smart Cities Award Contest 2020, Surat and Indore received award at best city and Uttar Pradesh was awarded as the best state. So several initiatives were launched including the Urban Outcomes Framework 2022, data portal called Amplify and Output Outcome Dashboard for the Smart Cities mission. Okay. Now let's see some of the important host and conference which is the venue of the National Conference on Cooperation Policy. This is New Delhi. Which Union Ministry organized the Amrit Samagam National Conference? So it was organized by Ministry of Culture. Which state organized the National Judicial Conference on Mediation and Information Technology? So this was organized by the state Gujarat. Which state is the host of the conference and exhibition on the national calendar of India? Answer is Madhya Pradesh. Which city is the host of Wings India 2022 conference? This is very important and the host for this conference was Hyderabad. At the 17th annual banking technology conference and awards, which bank recently received three awards? So at this particular conference, the Karnataka bank has received three awards in three different categories. Which is the venue of Devayatnam and Odyssey of Indian Temple Architecture Conference? So the venue of this event was Hampi in the state of Karnataka. Which country has not sent its delegation to the Munich Security Conference 2022? Do remember that Russia has not sent its delegation to the Munich Security Conference. Next question. Which institution organizes the National Cyber Security Incident Response Exercise? So the National Security Council Secretariat is organizing the National Cyber Security Incident Response Exercise for the Government Official and National Security Advisor Mr. Ajit Doval has inaugurated the National Cyber Security Incident Response Exercise and the participants will be trained on various key cyber security areas such as malware information sharing platform, vulnerability handling and penetration testing, network digital, forensic, etc. Okay. 
Now let's see some of the important institutions that were in use. Which institution conducts the Abhyas program to guide the students in the competitive examination? This is All India Radio News. After Air India disinvestment, Alliance Air works under the control of which institution or company? So now after this disinvestment, Alliance Air works under Ministry of Civil Aviation, means under Government of India. Supreme Court directed which institution not to exclude the candidates with color blindness from its courses? This is Film and TV Institute. Which institution has announced that $2.2 million in climate action grant for the local innovators? This is United Nations Development Program. Which institution scrapped the charges levied on USSD messages? This is Telecom Regulatory Authority of India. Which institution recently launched the Avsar scheme? It has been launched by the Airport Authority of India. Okay. Can you tell me, Supreme Court has recently said which state not to limit the number of male and female performers in the orchestra bars because it violates the fundamental right of performers under Article 15 and 19 of Indian Constitution. Can you tell me which was this state? Do let me know in the comments if you remember. Next question. Vidya Samiksha Kendra or Command and Control Center 2.0 is located in which state? So Prime Minister Narendra Modi recently visited the Command and Control Center set up by the Education Department of Gujarat. And this center or you can say Vidya Samiksha Kendra was inaugurated in Gandhi Nagar in the year 2021. And it is a kind of surveillance system which tracks the enrollment, attendance, learning outcome, dropouts, school, accreditation, etc. And also it monitors the schools, teachers, block and cluster resource center coordinators, means what type of activities are going on in the school as well. Okay. Now let's see some of the important centers that were in news. The India International Center, which was seen in the news recently, is located in which state or union territory. So President Ram Nath Kovin participated in the Diamond Jubilee celebrations of the India International Center, New Delhi. It is a kind of international platform for the exchange of views and it was founded in the year 1958. Currently, who is the president of this center? Former Jammu Kashmir Governor N. N. Wohara. Right? India signed the Memorandum of Understanding with which country to set up a virtual network center on quantum computing. So India and Finland signed this MOU to establish an Indo-Finnish virtual network center on quantum computing. So our Science and Technology Minister Dr. Jitendra Singh and Finland Minister of Economic Affairs Mika Lintila, who is currently in India, announced this. And Indian side has identified three top institutes for virtual network center on quantum computing. Which are these institutes? IIT Madras, IISER Pune and CDAC Pune. Okay. Integrated command and control centers is associated with which government scheme? So, Union Minister of Housing and Urban Affairs, Mr. Hardeep Singh Puri, said that 80 out of the 100 smart cities in the country have integrated command and control center. And the ministry is set to complete the work in the remaining 20 cities by 15th of August 2022. So, Smart Cities Mission was launched in the year 2015 to promote cities that provide the core infrastructure clean environment and give a decent quality of life to their citizens through the application of smart solutions and the center will provide the financial support to the extent of of 48,000 crore rupees for over five years okay so this is related to smart cities mission which Indian ministry organizes block level health milas at more than 1 lakh Aishman Bharat health and wellness center this is Ministry of Health. Who is our Health Minister? Mansuk Mandavi. Under the Production Linked Incentive Scheme, the center provides financial support for manufacturing, 
for how many years so this is to be done for five years in which country did the world health organization create the global center for traditional medicine so prime minister narendra modi laid the foundation stone of who global center for traditional medicine in jamnagar in the state of gujarat and this event was attended by prime minister of mauritius as well so this center aims to create a database of traditional knowledge system using technology and also to create international standard for testing and certification of traditional medicine basically it wants to evolve as a platform where the global experts of traditional medicines share their experiences to mobilize the funding for research in the field of traditional medicine okay next question ankita raina rutuja bhosle riya bhatia and sojan bavisetti are associated with which sport so the indian women's tennis team that comprises of all these players have finished third at the billie jean king cup 2022 so after losing against japan and china in their initial group matches ankita raina led the team bounced back and won a third straight victory against indonesia new zealand and finally south korea okay so these people are related to tennis now let's see some of the important questions regarding sport sujan prakash and vidant madhavan who were seen in the news recently are associated with which sport so they are related to swimming ministry of youth affairs and sport released 72124 dollars to which institution for elimination of doping in sport so our ministry of youth has allocated this much amount to unesco for elimination of doping in sport which indian state launched she auto stands to provide the safe transport to the women and the girl students this is andhra pradesh who has won the bdc indian sports women of the year award in 2022 answer is meera bai chan what is the name of the hydrogen powered fuel cell automobile that the ministry of road transport and highways recently introduced this is toyota mirai okay next question who is the author of the boy who wrote a constitution which was recently released so this book was written by noted playwright and the author rajesh talwar and this is a kind of children drama which is based on ambedkar's own recollection of his childhood and it was released on the occasion of dr bhim rao ambedkar's 131st birth anniversary okay so two things are important this book has been written by rajesh talwar and it is to dedicate bhimrao ambedkar now let's see some of the important books and authors which country has authorized a covid-19 breathalyzer test so recently usa has authorized this type of test recently the food safety and standards authority of india has designated four police stations in which of the following state or union territories as the eat right campus for delivering the nutritious and wholesome meals to the police employees at their canteens and mess on a daily basis so these are the police stations from new delhi amar mitra who was awarded with this year's o henry prize is an author of which language so answer is bengali language which state is the host of the meeting of national tiger conservation authority in 2022 arunachal pradesh who is the author of recently published book manas ke anmol moti answer is vandana mishra who is the author of the book 1232 km the long journey home mr vinod kapari okay next question shinku la pass which was seen in the news recently is located in which state so the border roads organization will construct the world's highest tunnel at shinku la pass at 16580 feet to connect the himachal pradesh to ladakh so bro director general rajiv choudhry stated this while opening the strategically important himachal to zanskar road at shinkula pass so center has launched project yojak of bro to implement this ambitious project okay so correct answer would be himachal pradesh 
So let's see some of the important questions. Legendary singer and music director Praful Lakkar, who recently passed away, is from which state? So he is actually Odia singer and correct answer is Odisha. Also he has received the prestigious Padma Shri Award in 2015 and also he was honored with Jaydev Award in 2004. Also he received the State Film Award 8 times with 6 times in a continuous manner. Right? D. Vishwa who passed away recently was an ace player of which game? Answer is table tennis and from which state he belonged to? Tamil Nadu. Jack Higgins who passed away recently was associated with which profession? He was actually a writer. Which state has passed a resolution seeking completion of the Satlaj Yamna Link Canal? Answer is Haryana. Which state passed a bill seeking to regulate the stray cattle in the urban areas of the state? This is Gujarat. Okay. Now let's start with today's quiz. Here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two three days current affairs. Pause the video and try to solve each of these questions. And at the end of the lecture, do not forget to share your scores in the comment section. So please be honest and do not cheat with yourself. So that's it for today. I hope you have liked the session. These were the important news and events from today. And we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. And please do not forget to subscribe to GK Today. With this, Meenu Zahat Sana signing off.